When exporting a Revit model into LifeSanza, the reflectances for the ceiling, walls, and floors automatically go to 80, 50, 20 for those families. For all other families, they will stay at the specified reflectances. Um, but what you can do is you can export this into LifeSanza. And then once your model is open, you can double check those reflectances, reflectance values. So you can go over to your materials panel. And once you're in your materials panel, you can just hover over your floor and you see that that's 20. And then if you go over to your walls, you see that that's 50. And if you go into the 3D viewer, you can see that your ceiling is 80. You can also come over into your materials panel here. And if you wanted to change the wall reflectances and you knew the value you wanted, you can just edit this material and you can change this to maybe 75 and then click OK and you can change it just like that. Rather than um, just sticking with these 80, 50, 20, you have a little bit more flexibility. And so there are ways if you want to turn that um, off, you can go into your account settings and you can turn this button off and that will override um, the 80, 50, 20, and it'll automatically import all of the Revit families that you had applied into LightStanza. If you want to learn how to do some more advanced material settings rather than 80, 50, 20, please view our detailed materials video.